How to lead a church board meeting. Board meetings do not have to be painful. Lead a church board meeting church board meeting. Learning how to lead a church board meeting is a very important skill. The New Testament Church of the Apostolic Days was unlike the hierarchical organizations of today, sometimes governed like secular establishments. In some of those establishments, the role of the Holy Spirit is relegated to the background, and church matters are sometimes decided in courts of law. Church board meeting but in the days of the apostles, an apostle would go somewhere, preach the gospel and those who receive the Lord organize themselves into a local church. A local church is a visible unit of the body of Christ, and so long as the congregation had a pastor and deacons, the apostle, or today's missionary, would move on to preach elsewhere and plant other churches. 11 Steps for an Effective Church Board Meeting Step-by-Step -step Guide In leading a church board meeting the pastor is the head of a local church, assisted by the deacons. He is the one who is supposed to chair church business meetings, assisted by the deacon board. Some church boards are chaired by a person other than the pastor, but irrespective of the arrangement, the pastor is an ex officio member of every committee in the church. Church meetings should be held when necessary, not just because there is a policy that they should be convened at a certain frequency. More time should be freed for witnessing Christ and teaching. After all, even church meetings themselves should be for facilitating this mandate. The church board meeting should have an agenda or objective, and minutes of the proceedings taken. Participants should contribute freely. Church meetings should be organized and conducted in a way that will save time for participants while at the same time yielding maximum results. It helps when the pastor in conjunction with the deacon board chairman and secretary informs people who are relevant to the agenda and do it in good time so that they can prepare to avail themselves for the meeting and prepare with answers for any questions that they anticipate. Brainstorming technique under the guidance of the chairman. The church board meeting should start with prayer as participants seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in deliberations. The work of God has an enemy, the devil, and the guidance and power of the Holy Spirit are critical in doing it. Then it should follow the normal procedure of every other meeting since the church is by and large an organization like any other. Lead a church board meeting. The objective of the meeting should be made clear by availing of the agenda of the day. Minutes of the previous meeting should also be read to bring participants up to speed concerning earlier discussions. Usually, any issues to be addressed at any meeting are a follow-up of what has been discussed earlier, so it helps participants to brush up on issues addressed and decisions made in earlier discussions. In church meetings, participants should contribute freely, even though decisions may be arrived at by general consensus or majority vote or made by the chairman after he listens to facts and opinions during the discussion. The pastor may ask suggestions and even consider input, but he is not bound by those views in arriving at decisions. And the reason the pastor is not bound by the views of deacons is that he ought to eventually evaluate every action recommended using the Word of God. Brainstorming done right and if any recommendation conflicts the Word of God, the latter ought to prevail. In all matters of the Bible-based church, God's Word should be the sole authority of faith and practice. There should be constant reference to it and all teachings tested with it irrespective of who gives them. Normally, error creeps in when believers become respecters of persons and start to uphold teachings on the basis of the teacher's position in society rather than because they are biblical. Like any other believer, church leaders are fallible, and it should not come as a surprise if they fall into sin, as is possible with any other believer. Actually those who change churches because of the leadership to be flawed are surprised to discover the same weakness in the leadership of the new congregation. Like any other believer, church leaders are a target of the devil and those under them ought to keep upholding them before the Lord in prayer. One of the mistakes that members can make is to justify a mistake because it has been done by one of their leaders or, worse still, follow him into it. When Apostle Peter became hypocritical in his treatment of the Gentile believers, Apostle Paul did not treat him exceptionally. According to Galatians 2.11, he stood Peter to the face and rebuked him. Apostle Paul himself according to the beginning of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 wanted the believers to follow him as he followed Christ. By so saying, he gave the believers the option to change if they found his walk inconsistent with Christ's. Jesus Christ is the ultimate role model. Why is it necessary to hold board meetings? The pastor could decide everything by himself. But the reason why this would not be advisable is that it would deny him the opportunity of taking advantage of gifts that God has available through other people. According to Ephesians 4 8 when Jesus ascended on high, he gave gifts to men which, according to verse 12, are for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Creative ways to brainstorm apparently God does not want the work of the church to be a one-man show. He wants every believer to participate in the service of God, and that is why he gave gifts to different people instead of having all of them resting in one person. In John chapter 17 is Jesus' prayer for the disciples. According to verse 11, our Lord prayed that his disciples may be one. This suggests people who through forgiveness have dealt with their differences so that they have maximum synergy in carrying out the mission of the church, such as the church members who will hold board meetings with maximum results. Conclusion 
Christian board meetings are not a biblical concept. They are a product of our business, political, tax needs, and requirements of how to manage and direct businesses. They can be governed and led by biblical principles. Board meetings can become a round, boring, and without Christian principles, but they do not have to be. Boards are if wisely chosen can supply experience and mentorship to help an organization grow. Some churches have boards, most all non-profits organizations, many of which are large Christian ministries. They are set up with this structure. These suggestions can help your board meetings that are energetic, profitable, and can be designed not only to get wise guidance but also to get help from board members. Purpose of Life Launcher by Gregory Gaines Purpose of Life Launcher by Gregory Gaines Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to our family. View all posts.